In a recent blog post, I talked about how to use a single image to build a simple interaction. And here's an example of that. So I found this graphic here. Uh, what I typically look for are places where I can have these content buckets. So for example, here's like a picture frame, a calendar, bookshelf, computer. So what I have is a single image. And when I click on one of these elements, it's going to zoom in. I can collect some content, get some more information. When I'm done, I can zoom out and I'm back to my main image. Click, I zoom in, get some content, zoom out. This is a really great effect or a great um, technique, uh, mostly because most of us aren't graphic designers and we don't always have access to graphic designers. But it's easy enough to find free images or low cost images uh, that look something like this where we can explore and collect information. So I'm going to show you how I built this. I got a lot of questions from blog readers, so we'll look at how this particular one was built and I'll give you the source file and you can mess around with it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've built this in Storyline. If you're using a different tool, um, the techniques are probably similar. You just have to figure out how to do it in the tool that you're using. So we're going to go to uh, Insert. Let's insert our picture. So I happen to find a picture that I liked. So it's a nice image for me. So what I want to do is um, take this image. I've got four sections and each section is going to be clickable. Now when we think about what's happening is I've got a section, I click and I want it to zoom in and then I want it to zoom out. Uh, the way I get it to zoom in and zoom out is by going to Insert and use the Zoom Region feature for Storyline. Now what I have to do is I have to create a slide for each section and the reason I need to do that is because this way I get better control of the Zoom In and Zoom Out feature. So I know I'm going to have my menu slide which we have here and then I'm also going to have four additional slides. And now to, from a production perspective to make it easier, I'm just going to copy this image. So I'm going to do Control X, take it off of the slide. It's on my clipboard. So I'm going to go to View, Slide Master, and I'm just going to go to the blank slide and paste that image or you can insert the image. So now I've got this on the Slide Master. Now if I go to Layouts, you can see every slide is going to use the same master. And that makes it easy for me and I also don't have to worry about accidentally moving the images on other slides. Okay, so this is our main slide here. So this is our setup. And what we want to do is we want to go from the main slide to a different module slide. So what we're going to do to make it easy is we're going to build our first slide and we're going to build all the animations and zooming in and out. And when that's done, all we have to do is duplicate the other slide. So we're going to go ahead and build our first slide. So let's let's title this one first menu. So we know that's our main menu slide. And I'm just going to duplicate this. You can hit control D and we'll call this module one, mod one. And what we want to do is we want to have a trigger that takes us from this slide to this slide. And you could put buttons or whatever you want to do. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use a hotspot. So go to insert, hotspots. Now a hot spot is basically just a is an invisible button. So I'm going to put it on here. And what do I want to do? When I click this hot spot, I want to show this slide, right? So let's go ahead and double click on the trigger for the hot spot. What do I want to do? I want to jump to slide and which slide? The module one. When the user clicks on hot spot one. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and preview this scene. So now the slides look the same, so we're not going to be able to tell that we're moving. But you can see we're menu, and then we're going to watch it goes to module one. Now you can see I don't have a cursor that looks clickable, but now when I go over the hotspot, you can see it's clickable. So I'm going to click on this, and as you can see, it jumped to module one. So that's our first deal. So let's go ahead, uh, build our hotspot, and then from the hotspot, we're going to go uh, to module one. Now to speed things up, we're going to have three other hotspots. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this. I hit Control Shift and move it over. Let's not worry about our trigger. So hotspot two. Let's duplicate it again. Let's move it over. That's going to be hotspot three. And then let's duplicate this and move it over. So we've got four hotspots. We don't need to worry about the triggers yet because we'll create the slides later. And then um, we're going to go ahead and duplicate the slides and do all that. So the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to create the zoom in and zoom out effect.